In this video I'll discuss the misconceptions about our human memory. A lot of people seem to, for example, think that photographic memory is something real. Myth number one. Only five to nine pieces of information can be stored in our short term memory. This is something that have understandably been misunderstood. This is real, but do not apply to pieces of information, it applies to chunks of information. The number 1 is a piece of information, but the number 13 is a chunk of information. 13 can be counted as one piece of information if it's easy to remember. If someone thinks of an unlucky symbol when thinking of 13, the unlucky number, then this chunk of information becomes a piece of information. So, the 5 to 9 pieces we can store doesn't really say how much we can store. Myth number 2. Your memory is finite. This has been researched and the conclusion is that our brains can't run out of memory under our lifetime. We do not have a finite memory. You only take in and process a small amount of data each day, compared to what you would if you took in all the data around you. Our memory can seem finite because of memory loss, but that's often not our memory that fails us, but our attention span, or our disinterest of the subject. We have trouble creating the memory in the first place, not retaining it. And we do forget, but it's not because of the lack of space in our memory. The Scientific American wrote this. The human brain consists of about 1 billion neurons. Each neuron forms about 1,000 connections to other neurons, amounting to more than a trillion connections. If each neuron could only store a single memory, running out of space would be a problem. You might only have a few gigabytes of storage space, similar to the space in an iPod or an USB flash drive. Yet, neurons combine so that each one helps with many memories at a time exponentially increasing the brain's memory storage capacity to something closer to around 2.5 petabytes or a million gigabytes. For comparison, if your brain worked like a digital video recorder in a television, 2.5 petabytes would be enough to hold 3 million hours of TV shows. You would have to leave the TV running continuously for more than 300 years to use up all that storage. Myth number 3. Photographic memory is real. Photographic memory is something that allows the person possessing it to remember something they've seen or experienced with photographic accuracy. This is sadly nothing that exists outside the movies. Our memory isn't built to remember exact details of a picture or anything else. It would take up too much energy and that wouldn't help us. One person under the pseudonym Elizabeth seemed to have something like a photographic memory. The scientist who documented her ability, Charles Strumeyer, later married her. This made the scientific community quite skeptic of Elizabeth's ability, so they asked her to repeat the test but she refused. But something called eidetic memory seemed to exist which is almost like photographic memory, but can be wrong on small details and often fades quite quickly. One more thing that exists is the phenomenon of hyperthymesia, which is an extremely detailed memory of your own life. This does not, however, grant one the ability to recall everything with photographic accuracy. So, photographic memory is unfortunately just a myth. Myth number 4. Not even 1% has an eidetic memory. Eidetikers, as the people who possess an eidetic memory are called, have an easy time remembering most details about what they've seen or experienced. This is not something that is extremely rare depending on the age of the eidetiker. Children relatively often have this ability but outgrow it when they learn to think more abstract. 2 to 15% of children in the age under 12 have this ability. Myth number 5. Natural memory is better than trained memory. 
Each year a championship is held, the World Memory Championships. No one of those who have won have ever claimed that they have a photographic or eidetic memory, only that they have trained themselves to have an amazing memory with mnemonic strategies. As of recording this, the records are Spoken numbers, one second each, 456 digits, binary digits, 5 minutes, 1080 digits, historic future dates, 5 minutes, 132 dates, names and faces, 5 minutes, 97 points, speed numbers, 5 minutes, 520 digits Random words 5 minutes 125 words Speed cards 20.44 seconds Later there will be videos about mnemonics so you can learn this amazing superpower And with that, I'll see you my irregulars